Hello and welcome. For today let's take a look at a very specific and oftentimes overlooked thing that one of my favorite anime did. Avatar is not an anime. Yes it is, here's the beach episode. Which actually is the topic for today's video, or rather what it did to the characters. Just as Zuko has been humanized and slowly redeemed throughout the entire series, Tai Li, Azula and Komi were presented not as enemies, that were just always evil for the sake of being evil, because all of them were from a nation of evil people. But the trio had been displayed as just people with their own lives, hopes, dreams, fears, wishes and insecurities. And there's an even greater example of this humanizing element, Ang's first hand experience. While the kids of his tribe rejected him, the kids of the Fire Nation embraced him as one of their own. And the same thing applies with the people of the Fire Nation at large. Despite it being the central enemy nation, the central villain of the story, the reason why everything changed, they were still just a nation made up of humans with their own individual lives, moral values and they were portrayed as such. Despite the Fire Nation being the problem throughout the entire series, its people hadn't been demonized as pure evil creatures undeserving of humanity, love or indeed redemption. On the contrary, what happened to Zuko throughout the entire series on an individual level was now also possible for the Fire Nation at large. And on a broader point of view, the focus of the Fire Nation on an external enemy also meant that internal differences were less pronounced by comparison. It doesn't matter that much whether you are a good or a bad student, if you are from a rich or a pure family. You still have and always will have an intrinsic baseline value, simply for belonging to the same side. And this brought acceptance, this trust bonus for everyone the Fire Nation perceives as one of their own, also enabled the Avatar to infiltrate the Fire Nation in the first place. Even though nobody really had seen them before, they were given a baseline amount of trust and credibility, because full of their flaws, they were still seen as one of their own. And I said it before and I will say it again, a Chinese student and an American student have more in common with another than with their respective boomer overlords, such as suffering from high housing prices, social isolation, stressful work environments, too much media consumption and both will also face difficulties retiring. And messages like these are far too rare these days. So anyway, this was just my thoughts on Avatar. What are yours? Let me know down in the comment section. And with that said, I say thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.